good by our camera crew and great work by the officials to pick it up. Third and goal now at the four. Disney looking to the end zone, under pressure. Now he's going to run it. He'll get to the goal line and into the end zone for a touchdown. Disney hands it on a reverse and throwing it now is number one, the receiver, and it's caught by Tate Hancock and he's into the end zone. And so NDSU inside the 40-yard line now of the Grizzlies with an opportunity to do some damage. Single back is Kyle Steffes behind Tony Staus. Staus hand off and it's fumbled. Bush has the ball and he's going to take it inside Bison territory. And at the Jeff Disney in the Montana offense, the Bison show blitz now back off. And now they're going to come. Disney, not much time, and down he goes. The Bison defense cutting through. Isaac Snell on the sack. In the second down, we'll call it no gain. Second and ten on the two. Disney back in the end zone. He's stacked, and he's tackled in the end zone. That'll be a safety. There was some confusion in the backfield. I thought for a minute the quarterback still had it, but it was handed to J.R. Waller, and the defense makes the first big play of the game for the Bison. Dwight Somerville had great penetration that time. You'll see him coming from the left-hand side. A 2-8 and eight season last year. This year, a new coach, a new attitude, new players. Where do you get the inside information on all of this? The Bison Football Show. Sunday night at 10.35. From your sports leader, WDAY 6 Sports. Looking to add to a 17-2 lead. NDSU showing blitz. Disney's going to check off and change the play. And now Jared Essler, NDSU's free safety. Looks as if he's calling off the play. Here they come. Throw to the end zone. Touchdown. Dane Oliver got behind the coverage of Frank Irby, and it's 23 to that last score. Mark, a look at the halftime stats. What stands out to you? Well, the Bison have uh, got to move the football. they got to control the football offensively. It doesn't look like they've had it long enough, and they don't have much for yardage, and, and they're just getting uh, uh, beat up front right now. We're glad to have you with us today from Missoula, Montana. Hand off to J.R. Waller, but nothing doing. The Bison defense strong up the middle. Dwight Somerville. Has a few things to say to the Grizzlies. Staus under center. He's got three receivers in the pattern. A delay handoff. Steffes bursts through the line. He's got a first down and more. Inside the 25 and down to the 23-yard line. line. Bias is hoping to put a score on the board and get back in this football game. And the Grizzly crowd knows it as well. Staus under center. He's got single receivers each side. Kyle Steffes has carried the load for NDSU at tailback here in the second half. It'll be Steffes again, around right end, inside the 10, inside the 5, he's near the goal line, knocked Target out of bounds at the 2. Three backs behind Staus, give it to Steffes, charging hard, and he's into the end zone for a Bison touchdown. Lotto. Did not carry the ball last week against Maine, but the coaches definitely wanted to get involved. And it's intercepted, Jamel Thomas picks it off in the flat, he's inside Montana territory and down to the 37. Oh, Jamel Thomas sucked a big miss up. And the Another good snap. The kick is away. It's got enough leg. And Vartanian is solid. Boy, point. how the Bison would like to force another punt here and get the football back. Disney under pressure. And down he goes. Dwight Somerville on the sack. Dave Kittleson and Isaac Snell. Eight also yards forward. to go. Disney with three receivers to the right, one to the left, a single back behind him. NDSU sends four men. Disney throws. It's completed, but Scott Walker lays a stick to the receiver right at the point of the catch. And it's going to be a fourth down, and the fans are not happy. Defense and special teams. It's first and 10 at the 11. Malone reverse. Burrell's got some room. Staus with a block. Burrell's going to score. Touchdown, NDSU. NDSU has the Montana Grizzlies third and 14. Montana on its own 15-yard line. Disney back to pass. Bison rush four. Disney buying time. Rolls out. He throws it near sideline. It's kicked off. Garrett Esler, the interception. Will it be in bounds? Yes. NDSU football in the Bison sideline is going crazy. Eight. They are kind of in four-down territory that if they get close, they might go for it here. The Montana fans rise to their feet, urging on their defense. Stouts under center. He wants to throw. Good protection. He's got a man. It's Travis White inside the 30 to the 22, and that's going to be They're a Bison fake. First down. You never know. You never know. On the road.
Down the kick. No, it is a fake. Rod Malone can run or throw. He's going to throw it. And it's caught. Mike Weezer touched down on the fake field goal. And the Bison lead. Holy cow. Rod Malone on the touchdown. 25-24, NDSU with the lead. 2.13 to play in the fourth play right here. Third down. Third and ten. Four receivers for Disney. Single set back behind him. Disney looking left. Throws. It is caught. A big catch. That's number 83, Dane Oliver, the man who cut the touchdown pass at the end of the first half. Oh, to the Grizzlies. 14, 113. Second down and ten. Disney back to pass. NDSU blitzes. Throw complete. Hancock tripped up at the football game. game. Four receivers in the pattern for Jeff Disney. NDSU with four men on the line. Third down and four. NDSU showing blitz. And they'll come with a couple of guys. Disney rolling, throwing, and it is caught. Is it inbounds? Yes. Disney sends a receiver in motion. Rolls left, wants to throw. Now he tucks it back and wants to run. A little bit of room. Burst to the outside. He's tackled just short of a first down, it appears. 36 seconds to play, 35. The Grizzlies will hurry to the line. Disney deciding what to do on third and one. NDSU rushing substitutes in. Disney, the quick snap, takes the handoff, gets drilled, but it looks like he's got a first down. The referees have stopped the clock with 24 seconds to play. Well, that's, that's gonna be close. They're gonna have to measure Games that one. Are stretched. Oh boy. And fourth it is down. short. It's fourth down. Decision time right it here. It is fourth down for the Grizzlies. And it all comes down to this. One play, winner take all. 25, 24. Bison lead the Grizzlies in what would be one of the greatest upsets in team history. And there have been some great wins, but there haven't been many great upsets because of the success of the They came in ranked number three in Division I AA. And let's see if NDSU, they're going to call the, their final time out. Right on the 30-yard line. spotted on the 30. It'll be a 40-yard field goal. Well within his range. Rod Malone and Jared Esler are going to leap for all they're worth and try to get a mid on it. Those big guys up front are going to try to knock the lineman back. Here we go. Three seconds for your ball game. Spotted. Booted. It's long enough. It's no oh, good. God. It's no good. Woo! It's no good. And the Bison have won. It's no good. And the Bison have shocked the Grizzlies in Missoula. Holy cow. What a game. What an effort by both teams. Montana played excellent football throughout this game. The Bison just took it away from them in the second half and dominated the second half and come out with a win. What a lift. Chris Snyder had the leg. He had enough distance, but it was pushed just, and I mean just wide right. And NDSU has pulled off a shocker. They said it couldn't be done. I said it couldn't be done. Serve up that crow, baby, because I'm ready to eat. Wow, man, that was fun. That was just a great football game, and it, it's the, the impressive thing is nobody panicked. Nobody on the sideline, the coaches, the players, none of them panicked. Absolutely unbelievable. We're going to take a break and come back with a wrap-up here from Washington Grizzly Stadium. You've watched the upset on WDAY. <laughs> 